Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's discuss the next topic that is types of ions in the mass spectrometry. So here are the list of the ions which are going to be produced during the fragmentation procedure and during the ionization process. The first one is molecular ions, fragment ions, odd electron, even electron ions, multiply charged ions, rearranged ions, metastable ions and isotopic ions. In this lecture, we are going to have the discussion on first five types of ions from the molecular ion to rearranged ions. Okay, for the metastable ions and the isotopic ions, we need longer time. That's why we are going to have two separate videos for the metastable ions and isotopic ions. So let's discuss the first type of ions. Those are what? Molecular ions. We all know that the molecular ion is produced by the elimination of single electron from your molecule which is in the vapor state. Right? Already we had a discussion on the previous lecture also related to the history of molecular ion. We already know that the organic molecules contains even number of electrons. From the even number, we are removing a simple electron. It means that what? Whatever the molecular ion we are getting, that is going to be what? Odd electron ion or not? So the people are saying the molecular ions are odd electron ions. Whenever we are having the radical character, we can say that what? The nature of the ion is going to be paramagnetic in nature. Okay, the third point is what? If the molecular ion is unstable, the peak will not appear in the mass spectrum. This is very very important point in case of these sugars and high molecular weight natural products. What happens? The formed molecular ions are highly unstable in nature. That's why the molecular ion peak will not appear in the mass spectra of these kind of sugars and high molecular weight natural products. We all know that the importance of the molecular ion, the MYZ value of molecular ion is always equal to the molecular weight of the unknown sample. Right? So this is about what? Molecular ions. The second type is what? Fragment ions. The name itself indicates fragment. The ions which are coming from the fragmentation procedure. Already we know that initially we are producing the molecular ion. The molecular ion is subjected to further cleavages. The process is commonly called as what? Fragmentation. During the fragmentation we are getting simple species. Those species corresponding peaks are commonly called as fragment ion peaks. So, what is the definition? Positively charged smaller species produced on fragmentation of molecular ion is commonly called as fragment ions. Already we know that the fragment ions are produced from the molecular ion. It means that what? The decomposition of molecular ion takes place. So that whatever the peaks which are we are getting for the fragment ions, always the molecular weight or M by Z of the fragment ions are lesser than the molecular ion M by Z. This is important point you need to remember. Okay. So what is the third type? <coughs> Odd electron, even electron ions. Let's see one example. It is one organic molecule CH4. We know that all organic molecules containing even number of electrons. From the even number what we are doing? We are doing electron impact commonly called as electron bombardment. Because of the electron bombardment what is happening? We are producing molecular ion or not? The number of electrons in the molecular ion will be lesser than comparing with the what? Your particular molecule or not? We have remo removed simply one electron. That's why this is going to be what? Having 
Odd number of electrons are not. That's why the molecular ion is what? Odd electron ion. This one is subjected to fragmentation. Hemiheterolysis. Because of the hemiheterolysis, what happens? The removal of H radical takes place. So that we are getting CH3+. plus. Carbon connected to three bonds means how many electrons? Six electrons are not. The six number is what? Even in nature or not? That's why this ion is commonly called as even electron ion. If you see the definition, even electron species are more stable than comparing with the odd electron species. See this one? This is the radical cation and this is the cation. Radical cation is odd in nature. Simple cation is even in nature. That's why what happens? Even electron ions are highly stable than comparing with the odd electron ions. Now see the statement. If odd number of nitrogen atoms are present, odd electron m by z appears as even, even electron m by z is going to be odd. So what is the meaning of this statement? Let's take one example. We know that this is benzene, right? The benzene is subjected to electron impact or electron beam bombardment. What happens? Initially, we will get molecular ion. Already we know that molecular ion is what? Odd electron ion. Odd electron ion M by Z is what? Even or not? Odd electron ion M by Z is even. So this one is subjected to fragmentation. We are going to remove the H radical. Thereby what happens? We will create a radical here. This radical and this radical can form a pi bond. Thereby we are getting what? Even electron ion or not? See this one? Pi bonds are there. So the even electron ion molecular weight is what? Odd or not? That is the statement meaning. Odd electron M by Z is even. See this one. Odd electron M by Z is even. Even electron species M by Z is odd. Even electron species M by Z is odd. This is the first statement. See the next statement. This is in case of what? If the odd number of nitrogens are absent in the molecule. Okay? Suppose if odd number of nitrogens are present in the molecule, it means that what? If your molecule containing odd number of nitrogen atoms, what will happen? The odd M by Z is going to be odd. Even electron M by Z is going to be even. So what is the meaning of this sentence? See the example. This is methyl amine subjected to electron impact or electron beam bombardment the molecular ion is produced. The molecular ion is what? Odd electron ion or not? See the M by Z. 31 means it is an odd number or not. So odd electron M by Z is odd. After the breakage of this particular bond, this is subjected to homolytic cleavage. Thereby what happens? H radical will be removed. We are getting a radical here. This radical and this radical can form a pi bond. Thereby we are getting SPs, positively charged species. This is even electron ion. Even electron ion M by Z is what? 30 means even number or not. That is the meaning. Odd electron M by Z is going to be odd. Odd electron ion M by Z is odd. Even electron ion M by Z is even. So, this is the what? Odd or even electron ions. It means that what? In mass spectrum, we are going to observe molecular ions, fragment ions. The fragment ions may be even electron ions or odd electron ions. Okay? So, this is about what? Your odd electron and even electron ions. The next one is what? Multiply charged ions. Already we had a discussion on these kind of ions in the previous lecture. Let's see. The ions which are produced with loss of more than one electron from the molecule is commonly called as multiply charged ions. So, multiply charged ions are going to be produced by the elimination of more than one electron. 
already we know that these kind of situation is going to be appeared in case of what anhydrocyclic compounds and organometallic compounds followed by poly aromatic compound see this one this is one example poly aromatic compound if this one is subjected to the electron impact what is happening we are getting the molecular ion that molecular ion is going to be what having plus 2 charge or not so these kind of ions are commonly called as multiply charged ions the next type of ions are rearranged ions we all know that rearrangement it means that what the shifting of group or atom from one portion of the molecule to the another portion of the molecule if the molecular ion or any kind of ion produced by the rearrangement of any kind of atom or group such type of ions are commonly called as rearranged ions see this one formation of ions due to the migration of atom or group from one position to another position of the molecule let us take one example it is an ether right in case of ether we are having what sigma bonding electrons and n electrons so simply we can remove the n electrons for the formation of molecular ion so from this oxygen lone pair what happens we have removed one electron thereby we have created a molecular ion this molecular ion is subjected to what further cleavage commonly called as fragmentation process see this one this bond is subjected to homolytic cleavage and this bond is subjected to homolytic cleavage thereby what is happening r radical o radical o radical and c radical here radicals are forming or not so what happens these two radicals can form a pi bond so h h c double bond o formaldehyde molecule will be removed here what is happening oxygen getting radical or not here we are having r radical or not so this r radical approaches to the oxygen radical thereby what is happening r o r rearranged ion we are getting the peak of this rearranged ion will appear in the mass spec so in this way we can identify rearranged ions during the fragmentation process so this is all about what molecular ions fragment ions odd electrons even electron ions multiply charged ions followed by rearranged ions okay so in the coming lectures we are going to have a brief discussion on metastable ions and isotopic ions